welcome back hi again this is Dina and I am going to upload a video today about my minivan conversion I want to show you how I made my minivan since I can't go camping right now it's cold outside and I don't want to camp in the cold and it's been wetter than usual I wait till the ground gets hard so instead we'll just do a video on this minivan conversion it's got my own creative touch on it because I do that <laughs> and so uh, you'll see that I made the bed and the sink and the screens and everything and I'll explain that as I go and I hope you enjoy this video and maybe it will spin off some ideas for you to do your own conversion for camping. I didn't go all out because I just camp for a few nights. I'm not going to live in it and I'm not going to do really long extended stays. So um, we'll go out and we'll look at it and I'll explain how I made things. I think I took pictures at the time that I was making it too so I can upload them so you can see in detail a little bit more. Uh, let's go and check it out. Okay, so I was going to take the camera outside and show you um, my conversion but I noticed that this was dusty so I brought it in to clean it up and I thought well it would be easier to explain it. I have it apart to clean it all up. Uh, I had made this frame for my sink that I put in my minivan so when I go camping I have water. What it is is just it's a three shelf bookshelf that I bought at Dollar General. I'll upload a photo about it because uh, it has the dimensions on it. I did take a photo and did some stuff when I first did this project. So that's what this is, frame is. It's out of particle board, it's cheap, it's light, and that was important to me. I painted the edges because on the back side the edges aren't painted or in between shelves on the back side uh, by the manufacturer. So I painted them black just because that's me and I wanted them uh, to match. The first thing I did was I took the bottom shelf and I brought it to this level for a reason. Because this is the level that when it's in my van and I put a table here that it sits where my bed is right here and I can bring down the table and I have a little table to work on and the sink is here and the faucet is here one or the other and then I have this little space to work off as a table if I wanted to prepare food whatever I'm doing here okay so I brought them down by gluing the edges and I put these L brackets to make it at the end of all four. I want to put some up here. I haven't done it here yet. It's all kind of a test as well. But I've had it for a year now and it's working. So, um, so I got the L brackets there because when you're going on dirt roads, you're going up and down or back and forth and it keeps it from wiggling the screws out, weakening it and damaging it. So I did that. We got I drilled the holes on the top. See these holes? I drilled them. They're an inch and a half holes, and then I've got them a certain distance apart. Uh, this side is where the bowl sits, and this side is where the faucet sits. And I kind of measured them at the time that I put this together. I also laid on all of these shelves gloss, high gloss, black vinyl contact paper on each shelf. So if there's water spills, it won't damage this particle board. Uh, it can damage easily with water spills. So you gotta wipe it up right away. Especially if you've got hinges and stuff here, you don't want any swelling or anything because it, your hinges will fall right out. So you wanna keep it pretty clean. Um, on this side, I of my table I put left the vinyl this is not protected it's only paint this is paint on this side so you, you kind of judge it the way you want it do it with the way you want it maybe you want to put something like this on the humidity and everything the heat gets pretty intense in my van I live in Arizona and so things like this can peel up and that's what this is doing which I'll probably just wood glue down and paint or something like that so I got the, the vinyl and everything, um, trimmed out the vinyl for the holes and everything. I took this 
second shelf and I took two nice hinges and lined it up and glued the hinges with as well as you know uh, screw them in to make them nice and even. On the ends of this I put plant hooks you know the little plant hooks that you just screw in I've got one on each end facing the hook facing on this one. On the top over here and on the other side and this is the hole that was originally there for the top shelf that they had pre-drilled. I put two pry bolts and it's got a washer and everything and I screwed them on. So I have those. I bought a two foot chain that looks like this and I cut that in half and I put one end on the eye bolt on each side of this. The other end goes on here and it takes me about three links down and voila, my table is up and level. And I can put that side up as well. So I did that, so this is the perfect level that if I were sitting on my bed, uh, I could bring this up because I have enough space and I have this as my eating table or whatever I want to do, you know, once in my bed. So isn't that nice? I might in the future think and consider some maybe bumper guards around the corners though because you're in a cramped place in the minivan and if this is up I don't want to be hitting it and prevent any hurt. So this plastic you see here uh, is actually gardening fencing from uh, projects I've done outside. I trimmed a, a small piece off and I took a stapler and stapled the ends for the bottom here. This is the side facing my bed. So this is prevent anything from rolling out onto the floor. The other one I have facing my uh, side door that rolls open, uh, open. And that's so that anything that might be on this shelf does not, when it rolls open, end up flying out onto the street or whatever. So under here, there's enough space, just barely, for my containers. This one is my clean water container. It's, let's say it's filled up with clean water. It goes under this hole. It's three and a half gallon water jug that I bought at Walmart. Then I have another one for my gray water for my sink and that goes under this hole. And then I have enough space for this little three drawer contraption that I have that I put things like um, my sponge, things that I want to get to right away. I made myself a sink. This is for my gray water. I got this, it was popular for a while. I had two of them. These are salad bowls that was Walmart sold a while back. I drove the hole in it and then I got my uh, drain pipe and plug and I put that through. I didn't even glue this. I just used the nut and tightened it. It's not like it's really going to be that big of a deal. It doesn't leak. And then I have a, a, plug, a plug so I can fill it up with water. This goes in here into my gray water container. It goes a little bit down so you don't have a lot of black, black water splash. I made this contraption out of PVC pipe. I was in a hurry when I did this because I wanted to go out and go camping right away when I got the idea that I was going to do this. And so I threw this together as quickly as possible. And what this is, is it's to go in for my faucet. I have a longer piece of PVC pipe. Then I have a piece here to prevent it from going all the way down and um, stopping. Then I had to add some connections to that, and I think this one screws on. And then this piece just pops on. And then it still wasn't big enough for my faucet that I bought. So I found this, uh, this is just one of those laundry cups that you have with your laundry detergent. And I just put uh, electrical tape around it. What I probably should do is screw a hole through here and here and maybe a put a little tap screw or something in it to keep it in place because I actually want it a little bit higher to cradle my uh, rechargeable faucet, which I'll probably fix in the 
future since I've had my drill forever it finally calmed out on me I have to update and get me a new drill so and I'm, get, I'm looking forward to that actually we got nice drills out so this goes in here okay then I bought myself one of these rechargeable USB rechargeable uh, faucets it has this in it it's I can press it uh, I keep it indoors when I'm not camping because the heat will destroy a lot of your electronics like this and this I put the hose in there and it brings it straight down into my water and I don't have to worry about it looping up and everything it goes straight down and then it supposed to cradle in here and see you can see this a nice little cradle but I'm still not sure if I might come up with a, a better cradle maybe a little bit deeper here if I look out for some piece make up some piece like I do and then I could just turn it on and I haven't gone I haven't used this for a long time but it's still got power you can hear it it draws up the water and brings it in here Okay, voila, that is my sink that I bring. Now this sink is actually, uh, I've actually used it. I used it when I was going to Colorado last year, I think in June. I stopped off at a rest stop, brought out my stove and cooked me a little chicken with a uh, cream mushroom. And yeah, because I was hungry, <laughs> I hadn't eaten breakfast. And so I left the sink in my minivan, and this sits behind the driver's seat, and just entered the, I mean, to use it through the side door. So after I got done eating, I got to clean up my stove and my dishes and everything inside the minivan. I didn't have to bring it out. And then at another time, I uh, brought it out. I took it out of the van because it's so really light. After I get these jugs out, this part is so light. So I just carried it to my bench area and we were fishing, me and my son, and we were at a lake and we were gonna cook up dinner. So I had this by the bench so that we could clean up the dishes and clean up our smelly hands and everything a little more easier. And that worked out perfect. And then, uh, you know, I brought it out, I think another time, just cooking breakfast and cleaning up. There's times I leave it in, there's times I don't. I've had it for a year now, and it, other than this little piece trim coming up, it's been working all really good. The, the faucet, the frame, and everything. The frame is the size, this size seems to work perfect too. It sits behind the driver's seat. Behind the driver's seat, I have a six gallon jug, uh, one of those with the pour spout that's uh, bungee corded around my seat. And that sits between this sink and my back seat. So this doesn't touch my back seat. Then on this end, there's enough space between here and your little armrest that goes to the back where I put my uh, container of cat litter and uh, toilet paper and a coffee can for my uh, portable toilet that I bring with me when I'm boondocking. So I, it's secure on both sides. And then in between here, when I keep the table down, you know, there would be a chance you would think, right, of it going up and down. Well, the hooks prevent it from going too far back, but you can make noise, right? But between here and my bed, I have my pillows. I put my pillows down. I don't keep them on the bed, I put them down. I also put, uh, I have this gym bag slash hiking bag that I put on between here and my bed. And that holds my clean clothes and my dirty clothes in it. And so that prevents, holds it secure so it doesn't go back and forth and loosens it or anything. And then any other hiking bags or anything else on top of that. And it keeps it secure. I have not had to, uh, you know, strap it down. So I'm really happy with that. And it's light for the the van. I mean, I like to keep it light in my conversion because the heavier it is, 
the more gas you use. And with the gas prices being so high, I don't want to pay that much. I'd rather spend more traveling than uh, paying a bunch of gas money because I have a heavy vehicle. I'm kind of cheap that way. So that's one thing. It's all cleaned up. So I'm going to go clean the outside. Uh, we're going to put it back and I'm going to take you there and show you after I get it I clean the floor a little bit. So like you can see how I put the, the floor, the flooring down because I do have a little flooring on my van too to protect my carpet. And it's black carpet people. Who puts black carpet in vehicles? It's full of, it can be full of dust and dirt. So I, I wanted to protect it. So I put flooring stuff down and I'm gonna show you that next, okay? Let's go. Okay, I brought my other camera out here because I wanted to show you this. If you're boondocking, you got all your doors and your back door and everything open, you wanna turn off your light, lights, all of them, so that it helps preserve your battery, especially in uh, really extreme temperatures. It's not going to prevent uh, some drainage from your clock on your dashboard and stuff, or if you have music going or whatever, but it helps preserve your battery. So keep that in mind, okay? Okay, so I got inside the van, and I decided I'm going to have to clean it. I'll show you the floor and everything, but I'm going to strip the bed and wash the sheets. I know I don't have to wash my uh, sleep bags right now. But uh, here's that six gallon water jug that I was talking about. It's bungee cord to the back of my driver's seat. And then here's the three drawer um, gadget that I put under my sink because my sink sits on this side. And you'll see that when I put it back in. So let's straighten it out and get it ready for this year too. And I'll show you the stuff that I kind of carry with me too. Most of the time, I don't need the stuff that I carry, but sometimes it is nice to have it. And of course, emergency stuff is always nice to have, but uh, I'll show you where I store everything too. And you can see what kind of stuff I carry with me to minimize my load. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. I'm using my uh, older camera to do this. But this is the mat I was talking about that I just kind of quickly shaped. And then this is a trim here that I bought so I could get this slant to the outside. And I just checked the carpet underneath it to see how it looked. See, I told you it was black carpet. <laughs> and so, it's not too bad. I mean, I had to do a little vacuuming around the edges. I'm also looking for bits of candy because I suck on a lot of lifesavers and stuff. I want them all out of my van before I go to Colorado. I don't want my van smelling like candy. <laughs> if I camp, you know, in there. But So I got the mat and I got this trim and I can sweep as I go. I do have a little broom and dustpan under that seat. And I have this rug and then I took one rug to actually stand on, which I'm not doing. And you're gonna see these containers now. These containers are from what, one of those three or four drawer, three drawer things. Yeah, what I call contraptions, the three drawer plastic three doors and I took uh, them apart which isn't hard at all <laughs> let me show you you just snap off and so some of them I put left the frame on and some of them don't have the frame I still even have space I got everything I need and I still have space you never know but I got four on this side and I've got two on the other side. That's my hat and my hammock. 
So those Velcro pieces you're seeing by the door and by the back door there, those held up my fishing poles that I took last June. And I decided I, I want them there, but I gotta fix them a little bit because I carried, I don't know, I think three poles and uh, you know, the bottom one was falling off or something and it's just Velcroed. So I gotta fix that. And then I got my flashlight because that's something that you always want on hand. I probably shouldn't have left it in the vehicle during the winter. Uh, forgot to take my fishing net out. I don't need that on every trip. And this black bag here is my gravity shower. And these are my fans. I've got two of these, one on this side, one that that side. And I stayed at places like in Utah, some warm places. And I even stayed the night, I think around Lake Mead. Yeah, by Colville Bay. And um, it's hot. And I use those fans and they certainly helped. I mean, I, it wasn't the hottest part of the year, but hot enough, believe me. <laughs> And it, if you're in a vehicle, even hotter. And there's not much shade there at all. So I went in the later afternoon and then put these fans on. And I was able to tolerate it. So that was my new fishing net that I bought. I bought that when we went to Colorado. Mine was, you know, I was using zip ties to keep it together. It was all falling apart. It was very old. <laughs> okay, so some of the stuff I have in here. This is a heater and bungee cord and a stand for the heater. I don't keep the propane in here because of the heat, but um, when I take off, I take a container with me that has propane and extra batteries and things like of that nature. This is extra clothing. These are wool socks, uh, scarf, I have waterproof gloves, I have rain jacket, I have an umbrella, I have a beanie hat, extra pillowcase, and towel. Just some extra emergency stuff if you find yourself in that kind of situation. This I'll show you in a minute. This is my um, screen for my side doors. And like I said, this is the gravity shower. Okay, so I only laid the rubber up so far. And it looks like it's buckling there. But that's a lighter rubber mat that I put over there because there is a, a drop in my floor. So I put, this is a thicker rubber mat and that's a thinner rubber mat. And then I put a rug over it just to make it homey because when I turn around and sit down, I mean, yeah, when I'm sitting down, my feet are on those rugs. You can see the rug and then you can see the thinner mat that I have here and I cut slits so these straps in case I needed to strap my bed which I haven't needed to another thing I didn't need to do this is a mattress which is really a gaming chair a gaming chair from uh, Walmart online I think I got it and it folds up into a chair a couple of ways and it locks in place and then you can lock it to make it lay down and turn into a bed it was cheap, about the cheapest one they have, and perfect for my bed. Um, it has zipper along the side here, which I unzipped and I cut the foam, foam that's in it, which made the perfect size for the mattress. And what I love about it is on this side, if I lift it, it doesn't lock. On that side, if I lift it, it locks. But I lift up this side and the planks to my bed remove easily from Velcro, with Velcro. So I can move this aside and reach my plastic tool um, bucket here, container that has, you know, parts and extra tools that you want or need. And um, also reach back in here with a little open space. This is my porta potty that's in a, a trash bag. This is a, a chair. That's my walking stick. I keep, these are my handles for my paddle board that I forgot that I left them in here. That's handles for my paddle board. So, it has a 
getting everything in that now. Okay, so I put the planks back down and I can put down my mattress. Now this is lovely, isn't it? I just love it. And then the, the extra space along the bed is perfect fitting for my uh, containers. So that's a lot of space and storage space. Now this frame for my bed I bought online I, from Target. And it's supposed to be smaller than your average average um, little twin bed. I'll see if I can try to find the description of it. Maybe add it into the comments. It came with metal legs, which as you can see, I've replaced with wooden ones. It was all pre-drilled. So all I had to do was make my legs, paint them, and um, bolt in my bolts with some washers while I drilled, you know, measured and drilled. And so I've got my legs. And what was the advantage of that is that I made these legs shorter than those legs on the other end because of that dip. You can even see the dip. That helps keep the bed level. Uh, also, I should have probably added another extra inch on that end. It still needs to be a little bit higher up. So in the future, I'll be taking that off and making a two more an inch higher. Real, real freaking simple. And uh, so I just love the idea because it's a lot of room for all my little goodies. Now this is one of those, this thing you're seeing here is one of those shoe rack uh, things. And I, I went more into the creative realm with this one. It was not this gray color, it was white. So I dyed it and I did extra sewing on it because they're made really cheap and those pockets will rip when you put things in, take things in and out. And sewed the bottom and stuff because it was much longer. And so I think I cut, cut it in half or three, I don't know, because I got three of them. I don't remember when I did. <laughs> I guess maybe I cut them in a third, whatever. Two of them, this was the hooks that came with them and I just tweaked the hooks so that, cause they're flat, so I, tweaked them so they would go behind this molded uh, innards and stay hooked. Those of course, I didn't want to do that. I had to do a different thing. As you can see on the left side, I just tied the ends from the eyelets. Oh, I think I added those eyelets and uh, to try to spread it out. And I didn't, I mean, everything was collapsing. It was making it difficult. The reason why I got them is to put things that I get into quite often, like the wipes, the dish soap, stuff like that, and I can get them really fast. So I like these pockets around. So I tried experimenting by putting together a PVC pipe, wiring it to the eyelids, spread it out, da 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 da, and then tied that. And of course I like that much better. So I will be, um, it, it's working much better. It's, so I'm thinking of definitely coming up with some other idea to maybe even look, make it look a little more pleasant, you know, but, but I like the idea of doing that. And I did have that other overhang on this, which I really want because I, it has pockets where I can get thing, two things right away, but I haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet. So let's go look at the front of this bed and I can show you. I always have to go in to see if it's recording because it's so bright outside that I can't see the screen. Okay, so there's the flashlight. We got the other fan and my hat that I, in the desert, in any place you really want the hats. And I love these hats because it allows some air in and especially in the desert and uh, it, with the strap it doesn't blow off your head. So I've always loved those hats. Here I have this on the other side and I haven't even vacuumed it and you can see that it's not that dirty. I can sweep it. This is 
actually working out pretty good and there's my rug on top of it but I'm also looking for candies remember <laughs> I don't want candies here if I'm going into bear country there's my little broom there's my broom and whatever that's there's my broom and everything but that is really clean so I use this side more rather than the other side because that other side has the sink on it. But here is uh, my coffee pot that I got at a thrift store like years ago. And it's the biggest one I've ever seen. I've never seen one big since. And it works great. It's my favorite coffee pot. And then I have just a little foldable frying pan, some paper plates, camp stove, some cling wrap, your mess kit that has uh, you know like a spatula and a sp one of those large ladles and uh, bowls and little plates in it and I think I put a little um, fork and spoon combination thing that I have uh, this is like emergency kitchen sink hey, something just flew out this is a little emergency. This is a stupid thing I bought. This is a little, um, there's a stupid thing I bought. This is a little sleeping bag, portable sleeping bag. Okay, on this other side I have my cleaning stuff, like my shampoo, my lotion, my, um, things to clean up, and my first aid kit is under here. And this is nice to have it accessible because I, I sometimes I'll stop off at hotels and I can just come back here, grab that, and take it into the hotel. I also have my shovel in here. These are longer items. I get, what I have to do is I do have to pull these two out, put them on top of my bed to reach my tent, my chair, my shovel. And I think that's about it. I can't remember what else is under there. But... Another clever thing is under this mattress, this is the side that if I put it up, it will lock. First it doesn't, and then you hear that lock. Okay, so that's locked in place, and then I would just fold the other two uh, cushions on the other end, and it turns in the chair. Obviously, this is the one that sits on the carpet. But this is my canopy for my my portable bathroom for my portable toilet <laughs> and then these are all my uh, window coverings so that's pretty much the first things I have to get out when I park is pull these out and see it doesn't lift it up too much and I really don't feel I'm going to damage it being on it I can push it farther back where most of my weights up here in the front anyway and you can see there is that little bowl showing you that I do need to bring that these legs on this end maybe an inch higher and that's so easy I, it's laughable but that's pretty much it I mean the little space that you see I, I put in my uh, kitchen and I'll put in my container over there with my propane and stuff and food and everything when I'm first taking off and so over here when I'm first taking off I'll put my container with food and my propane and batteries all that stuff I told you I bring uh, but I don't leave in the car right here I'm maybe throwing an extra well lately I've been putting my sleeping bag and all the blankets on the bed because I figure if I'm not gonna sleep under them I can sleep on top of them it's just more padding and you know, when I'm ready for bed um, these are the bags for my porta potty here and I gather all that and set that up when I first get and I got other things that I might want to find some like clamps these are a good putting tarp up on my back if it rains outside and if I want to sit in, under the rain like a canopy I just put my back tailgate up and clip on some uh, a tarp as long as it's not too windy of course but it, it turned out to work out really nice I did that up at um, White Horse I believe and off Williams and then these this drawer is just uh, straps oh no this is some of your survival stuff I was into that. I got extra, uh, what are these things, cable ties or whatever, 
this is if I want to, uh, um, I can put this on my tailgate and strap things on uh, top of my rack, my car rack. Um, some wire cutters and tape and screwdriver and stuff and then safety vest and, you know, just a few extra items that I like to keep with me. Of course, I've got more lights. You're not seeing quite everything because some things I've just packed at the last minute. But this is the basic thing. Uh, this is just a temperature thermometer my son gave me. I haven't gotten it really up there yet, I guess. And this is uh, where I put my fishing poles. See, I just had them like that. And it lasted all the way to Colorado. It lasted all the way um, when we went up into the mountains to fish. And then the day I was leaving and I was trying to pack up my car, then it wasn't working anymore. So I figured, okay, i got to fix that. See, a lot of this stuff is test, and you test it. If it works for you, it works. You can keep it. If it doesn't, you might figure out something else to do to change it, right? But this is my setup. It's very simple, very easy, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Those are my pillows and my blankets in the front seat there. Front seat is actually in a lot worse condition than my back seat. <laughs> I'm gonna show you uh, the screen curtain that I put up on this side, not that side. That's the side I normally do. This is the side for my sink. That side um, is the one I keep open all the time. And I'm gonna post some pictures also of the screen and how I set up the screen. All it is is a strip of Velcro. Velcro. It's the real strong stuff. This is the real strong Velcro uh, that they sell. I guess I got it at Walmart and I did cut it in half and then I cut strips and put it around the rubber on the towards the inside of this van. And uh, I bought these screens. They're supposed to be for your garage door. And I worked on it. And I added Velcro to the edges of this. Now, if I were to do it different, I mean, if I were to do it again, if I were to do this again with the screens, I would get the double door screens because these really barely fit. But I only put them up for a, a small amount of time when I'm settling in at night before it's dark, I keep the door open and I allow the airflow. Uh, but I put the, all the Velcros up. Okay, okay, so there's the Velcro on one side. And there's the top. And then the Velcro tabs. It goes on this side so I can come in and out easily without replace, taking the whole Velcro up. Then on the center, they have Velcro, uh, magnets. And I even put Velcro there. Um, in the future, I might even, what I might do in the future, because I don't use the center, I may sew all the way down. I just go through my tabs here. It's easy to do. So I take the center and I go in about the center here on the Velcro and I just apply it all the way across. I put the tabs all the way down. And then on the other side, I have more Velcro along the strip to keep it really tight. And I bring that all the way down to the floor. And then there's a little excess on the bottom, which I just throw out. I just got to remember not to close the door while I have it out. But to keep the bugs out, that works good. I don't use this centerpiece to come and go. Um, I, I do 
think I'm going to sew it and then I'm able to sew it to, to give me a little bit more slack not straight on top of each other for the seams. Anyway, that's the way it is. And I'll probably get another one to replace it eventually because they get snagged. This one's already got a little hole in it. But it's mostly to keep bees out and flies and mosquitoes. But it's easy to take this off and then just leave or go back in and then just put it back up and just throw it up behind me real quick just to keep the bugs from coming in. Now, the problem with the Velcro, especially here in Arizona, it does get very hot and the glue wants to melt. It buckled up, as you can see, in a few spots. You know, I don't really think you need a full Velcro across the top so I can slit it where it buckled up, you know, cut out a little piece, and then maybe re-glue it. Uh, during the summer months, I don't leave my screens up. I only take them out and put them up when I'm camping because the weight of the screens on top of that Velcro, on top of that rubber that heats up, gets moist and will just slide off. So. It's good to just use it sparingly when I need to, when I'm camping, boondocking, right? It's the best time to do. Sometimes it's one of the first things I'll put it up to have the airflow, especially if it's hot. And then, of course, I've got this blackout curtain that I trimmed down, and it's already got um, your curtain. It's a nice, big, wide uh, place that I can stick like a uh, bungee cord in with a nice, good hook on it, and I can just put it up here and bungee cord it, wherever I can put the bungee cord in. and. Um, go across but it doesn't go all the way to the top and that doesn't bother me I'm not uh, stealth camping you probably want to figure out something else if you're stealth camping but this is a blackout curtain that I just bought at Walmart and there's two of them these carabines work really good when you carabines work really good for various jobs that you need. So I always have a couple of them spared. I always keep some duct tape handy, some scissors, can opener, things of that nature. A lot of extra clothes. I, I bring extra shoes. I have water shoes. I have uh, these water boots that are made out of neoprene that I use for my paddle board. Then I have water shoes, I have uh, hiking boots, and then just regular shoes. Hopefully I'll just slip on. And that is, uh, so I have a shoe for every occasion. And they just go right here, right in front of my uh, six gallon water jug. See this just hangs here. And then I usually, because my sink's here, I just lay this on my sink. In front here, of my passenger seat is where I put my cooler and what I do with my cooler is um, you know those quart milk jugs um, I'll buy me a quart a lot of times I'll drink the milk I'll rinse it out clean it out fill it with water and right before I go I put them in the freezer so the ice melts slower and keeps my food lasting longer for my trip and my drinks I also carry with me uh, a backpack that I have out there I guess that has a water bladder in it and I think it's I don't know 30 ounces or 32 ounces or 64 ounces I don't know but it has extra water so if I go away from my van like a little hike or something I always carry that with me especially out here in the desert 
because if you get sidetracked, water is the most important thing you need, and also, as well as a flashlight. I, I carry these things because just on the chance that that one day that I don't, something weird like that happens, you know, where I get disoriented and can't find my way back. So, just to be on the safe side, do that. Okay, and I think that's it. I'm, I want to find out for you the um, the target. I think I'll just put a link to that if I find it uh, in the description, and you can click on it for yourself for the bed frame, that metal bed frame, because it doesn't seem to be one that was easy to find uh, from my looking when I was looking for one in the first place. It was hard to find, and we'll give you the dimensions. If nothing else, I'll try to find the dimensions for you. Um, but it, I like it because it's light too. Light, very light. I like light things. So, that's it. I'm going to put this band back together and call it a night. Have so, I hope you enjoyed that video of the mini van and the conversions I made. I'm a kind of a creative person, so... I see things I want to imitate it and put my own spin on it. So the the bed is all uh, my idea and the sink too, and uh, all this other stuff. It may not always turn out perfect, and it doesn't always matter to me as long as I know I can do it. And if I had the right materials, I could do it better. And if I wanted to put that much time in, I would. <laughs> I like to make things all the time, so it's it just a never-ending thing with me. And so if uh, you're interested in crafts and arts, check out my other channel. It's Dina's Arts and Crafts Studio. And I just uploaded my second video. The second video was an hour and a half, but it was about making a dish towel, a uh, crochet dish towel, a, a different way of doing dish towels anyway. And uh, I don't think I'll do, be doing them that long. I think I'll be doing small uh, clips because I do a variety of things. and. Things like felting that I do is a longer process. So I'm not going to be doing hours and hours of videos. So I'll be doing, uh, try to keep it as short as maybe 30 to 45 minutes like these. And then cut it off and do part two or whatever and keep going. That's the arts and crafts. I want young people to get interested in arts and crafts and be creative and use the tools at their hands to make things. Uh, I think it's good for people that and outdoor adventures so neither channel either channel don't matter i hope you like them i hope to see you again and we will hit the road again together in the future spring's coming weather's warming up we had snow yesterday but tomorrow i mean today it's been warmer and i think it's going to warm up and we're going to start being able to get back out I want the ground to dry a little bit. I don't want to be running into mud and, and snow up north. But um, I want nicer weather. And then we'll have a lot of fun. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.